This patient education video talks about a coronary angiogram. In this video, you will understand what is a coronary angiogram, when is it needed, which information would be obtained from an angiogram, how to proceed after an angiogram report, frequently asked questions about a coronary angiogram. A coronary angiogram is a procedure that uses X-ray imaging to see your heart's blood vessels. The test is generally done to see if there is a restriction in blood flow going to the heart. Coronary angiograms are part of a general group of procedures known as heart or cardiac catheterizations. Cardiac catheterization procedures can both diagnose and treat heart and blood vessel conditions. A coronary angiogram, which can help diagnose heart conditions, is the most common type of cardiac catheterization procedure. Your doctor may recommend that you have a coronary angiogram if you have chest pain or angina, you may feel pressure or tightness in your chest as if someone was standing on your chest, shortness of breath. If your heart can't pump enough blood to meet your body's needs, you may develop shortness of breath or extreme fatigue with activity. New or increasing chest pain or unstable angina. Abnormal results on a non-invasive heart stress test. Difficulty breathing or shortness of breath, sweating or cold sweat, fullness, indigestion or choking feeling which may feel like heartburn, nausea or vomiting, lightheadedness, dizziness, extreme weakness or anxiety. Because there's a small risk of complications, angiograms aren't usually done until after non-invasive heart tests have been performed such as electrocardiogram, an echocardiogram or a stress test. Angiograms are performed in the cat lab of a hospital. Your healthcare team will give you specific instructions and talk to you about any medications you take. General guidelines prior to the procedure are Don't eat or drink anything for 3 hours before your angiogram. However, you can have a light snack. Take all your medications to the hospital with you in their original bottles. Ask your doctor about whether to take your usual morning medications. If you have diabetes, ask your doctor if you should take insulin or other oral medications before your angiogram. Your healthcare team will review your medical history, including allergies and medications you take. The team may perform a physical exam and check your vital signs like blood pressure and pulse. An ECG may be performed. You'll also empty your bladder and change into a hospital gown. You may have to remove contact lenses, eyeglasses, jewellery and hairpins. In the majority of cases, it takes 15 to 20 minutes and you won't have to stay in the hospital overnight. You are awake, comfortable and lying down in the catheter lab, a room that looks similar to an x-ray room. The cardiologist will put local anaesthetic into an area of your wrist or less commonly your groin. They will slide a very narrow plastic tube up the artery to your heart, then inject a medicine which is referred to as contrast through the tube. This is a clear liquid that shows up under X-ray. An X-ray picture of your arteries appears on a screen and the X-ray camera is moved around to create a 3D image showing where the narrowings are and how bad they are. When the angiogram is over, the catheter is removed from your arm or groin and the incision is closed with manual pressure, a clamp or a small plug. 
you will be taken to a recovery area for observation and monitoring. When your condition is stable, you return to your own room where you are monitored regularly. You will need to lie flat for several hours to avoid bleeding if the catheter was inserted in the groin. During this time, pressure may be applied to the incision to prevent bleeding and promote healing. You may be able to go home the same day or you may have to remain in the hospital overnight. Drink plenty of fluids to help flush the contrast from your body. If you are feeling up to it, have something to eat. Ask your healthcare team when to resume taking medications, bathing or showering, working and doing other normal activities. Avoid strenuous activities and heavy lifting for about two weeks. Your puncture site is likely to remain tender for a while. It may be slightly bruised or have a small bump. Call your doctor's office if you notice bleeding, new bruising or swelling at the catheter site, you develop increasing pain or discomfort at the catheter site, you have signs of infection such as redness, drainage or a fever, there's a change in temperature or color of the leg or arm that was used for the procedure. Weakness or numbness in the leg or arm where the catheter was inserted. You develop chest pain or shortness of breath. An angiogram can show doctors what's wrong with your blood vessels. It can show how many of your coronary arteries are blocked or narrowed by fatty plaques. Pinpoint where blockages are located in your blood vessels. Show how much blood flow is blocked through your blood vessels. Check the results of previous coronary bypass surgery. Check the blood flow through your heart and blood vessels. Knowing this information can help your doctor determine what treatment is best for you and how much danger your heart condition poses to your health. Based on your results, your doctor may decide, for instance, that you would benefit from having coronary angioplasty or stenting to help clear clogged arteries. It's also possible that angioplasty or stenting could be done during your angiogram to avoid needing another procedure. Coronary angiogram is a special X-ray test performed to delineate blood vessels supplying the heart. Identify the number of blocks, severity of narrowing, heart pumping function. This test allows physicians to plan further treatment such as bypass surgery or stent or even medicines. For more information, contact Dr. Raghu, Director, Cardiologist, Astor Prime Hospitals, Hyderabad, India.